Hello, Mrs. Bradley here, and this instructional video is to help you with the question, how could you follow up a source to find out more information about a certain topic? This question is featured on the medicine paper and is under the section the British sector of the Western Front. This slide shows you an example of the question that you would be answering in the exam. How could you follow up source A to find more about the system of dealing with injured soldiers on the Western Front? In your answer, you must give the question you would ask and the type of source you would use. The question is very nicely broken down into four sections and each will require you to write a sentence. This question is split up into four parts, each requiring you to do a different thing. Initially, you will need to give detail that you would like to follow up and find out more about from the source. You will then need to pose a question that you would like to find out more about from the source. And then you will need to give what type of source you will use. And we'll look at that on a later slide. And then explain how this might help you answer your question posed here. This may seem like quite a lot for a four mark question, but each section only requires you to write one sentence, and as a whole you should only spend five minutes on this question. As part of your revision for this question, you should learn different types of sources that you could put into your answer. National records, local records, army records, medical articles. You don't need to be specific with names, just give a general idea of the type of source that may be useful to help you find out more information for your question. Within the paper there will be a separate sources booklet. The question will refer to these sources. Make sure you refer to your sources booklet to find the relevant one. The first thing that you need to do is to read the source and to get an idea of what it tells us about the system of dealing with injured soldiers on the Western Front. Now you should pause the video, read the source and have a think for yourself about what it tells you about the system of dealing with injured soldiers. Now you only need to come up with one detail from the source that you would like to question more to find out about more on the system of dealing with injured soldiers. But on the right we have a few details that you could have extracted from the source to ask more. The first detail we've had a look at that you could have extracted is about the stretcher people and were they really that busy. You could ask how many stretcher people were available on the Western Front and what was their effectiveness in dealing with these men. A second detail that you could look at is the RMAC staff. They weren't able to help. Why was that? Who were the RMAC staff and what were their facilities like on the Western Front? The third detail that you could look at is the medical officer has been in and said that they would need to go to a field hospital for a week. What were the field hospitals and why would they be better able to deal with wounded soldiers? These are three examples from the source. You just need to use one. Give the detail from the source of what you would like to follow up and the question you would like to ask. Here's where your revision of the different types of sources is going to come in handy. For each of the possible questions you could have asked, there are records, local and national, that could help you to answer the questions. For how many stretcher people were available on the Western Front, you could look at national army records. If you to ask about their effectiveness, you could look at personal accounts of a stretcher bearer. For the question asking about the RAMC staff, you could look at medical articles by doctors and nurses who took part in the war, and that might give you information about their facilities and the jobs that they did. If you were looking at the question about what were the field hospitals and whether they were better to deal with wounded soldiers, you could look at medical records showing statistics of injuries or operations. Whichever type of source you choose to use, you will need to write in this third part which source you would use. Finally, for whichever type of source you have used, you will then need to explain in a sentence why that would help you to find out more about the question you have asked. Example 1 considers the question about how many stretcher people were available on the Western Front and their effectiveness. It explains that personal accounts of stretcher bearers could recall their personal account of how busy they were and how many men could help in a day compared to those they couldn't but were injured. Example 2 looks at who were the RMAC staff and what were their facilities like on the Western Front. Looking at medical articles by staff who attended the RMAC, they think that they will detail the type of wounded they could and could not help and explain when and why cases referred to the field hospital. Example 3 that considers what were field hospitals and why would they be better able to deal with the wounded would like to look at hospital records. They will give details of patients seen there and the type of medical care they give to soldiers. 
Any of these that you have chosen to do, you will need your explanation, the part in red, to be written here. As you can see in the mark scheme, the question is worth four marks. Again, you will only need to spend five minutes on this. But for each aspect, the detail and the source that you'd follow up, you will receive one mark. The question you would ask, one mark. What type of source you will look at, one mark. And how might it help in your explanation, one mark. Please take the time to pause this video and have a look at this mark scheme and realise that you will only need to spend five minutes on this question and no more.